Richard, a changing of the guard at Standard Life, the uh, life insurance fund manager based in Edinburgh. Uh, uh, David Nish, the chief executive, is stepping down. He'll be replaced by Keith Skioch, who I think was the chief investment officer. Why are they making this change? One, one obvious reason is this is a company that when it uh, demutualized in 2006 and then was listed in 2007 was a bit of a mixed bag of disparate businesses that all made very varying and quite heavy demands on its capital. So David Nish was really brought in to rationalize it and he's done that. He's exited things like a Spanish car insurer, he sold a banking business, he sold a healthcare business to Discovery. He's also sold the Canadian business to Manulife in Canada. So if you like, it's now a steady state business that can be handed over to a proper fund manager. And has uh, Mr. Nish's work gone uh, well recognized? Have investors liked it? It has. I mean, the total shareholder return of this business has been over 190% on his watch alone. The shares are up 120% over his watch too. But it, it's also been imitated. And this is a company that has gone from being a traditional Edinburgh-based life company into a global asset manager. And it's been imitated or, or it's even been raided by Aviva Investors, which pinched Ewan Munro last year. Old Mutual recently bought Quilter Cheviot to boost its wealth management arm, really aspires to the kind of wealth manager rating that, that uh, Standard Life trades on now. It's getting, it has very much got the rating of a, an asset manager like BlackRock. In fact, it's more highly rated than BlackRock. And it has detached itself from the, the lump and proletariat of the life insurance industry. And so to Mr. Skier, what does he have to do with Standard Life? It sounds like he's got a, a tough act to follow. Well, I gather that the decor at Standard Life is pretty dull compared with the more avant-garde decor at the asset management side. So I suppose what he's going to have to do is meld two cultures together there. Um, but really, his job is to lift the game even higher. Assets have been flooding in. Why? Because their performance has been right up there at the top of the board. And I think it's just more of the same. And in a funny kind of way, you know, I imagine Mr. skiok has been saying quietly in David Nish's ear, you know, you can move over now, I wouldn't mind a go at this myself, because this really is almost becoming a pure play asset manager with what we call a life wrapper with a bit of protection built into investment products. Perhaps a long way from, uh, from its name, Standard Life, no longer such a standard life company. Richard, thanks very much.